the cardio is to work out until it looks like you feed yourself. <laughs> and that's just that. Good job. Yeah. You're pressing your butt. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. What's up everybody, my name is Tyler Harris, entrepreneur, influencer, and I could not be more excited to be teamed up with the All Mindset crew for Disruptive Innovation and the Disrupt Tour. We are gonna be bringing in industry leaders to help you unlock your next level, your full potential in market like the year that we actually live in. I'm gonna be speaking about building a personal brand and how I sold 7,500 life insurance policies three years, one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. Can't wait to see you there. Okay. You wanna try it again? Or you thought, I thought it was good. Just let me know. I thought it was really good. But you. Oh, what was it? That was really short. Okay, so what are we doing now? All right, so just made a uh, quick little video for um, the All Mindset crew out in California. Um, Sina Azari, the Franchina boys, and uh, I'm super excited about this event. So it's going down June 1st in uh, Huntington Beach, California, and it uh, looks like a pretty awesome venue that they've set up. Um, but we're gonna be doing a uh, really, honestly, kind of groundbreaking event. It's called Disruptive Innovation. Um, and we're creating a whole tour out of it. So it's gonna be the Disrupt Tour. We're gonna to be responsible for bringing it to the East Coast. Um, but a lot of the people that were there at uh, Agent 2021, the Gary Vaynerchuk event, um, have come together and, and basically decided, hey, let's throw our own event and, uh, and let's do something really, really impactful for people. And so I think there's like 20 speakers total, a bunch of panel, uh, type conversations. Uh, but I'm gonna be one of the four main keynote speakers, so I'm super excited about that. And uh, yeah, so it's June 1st that weekend, and man, I'm, I'm thrilled. Those guys are incredible. Cena, like, love that guy. Um, so I'm, you know, when he when he gave me the calls, like, boom, done. Let's let's make it happen. And what are we what are we doing today? So today, um, I've got just a bunch of crappy busy work I got to do for the next like hour. Um, and then we've got to go pick up the new car and go drop off the old car back at my house, which I'm selling on Friday, I think. And then we're headed down to Augusta, Georgia. I've uh, got a meeting this afternoon at 5.45 down there and then meetings tomorrow and Thursday. And then we'll head back Thursday night, um, back here to Greenville, South Carolina. And let's see what else. It's pretty much it. Got a bunch of podcasts on Friday. Uh, they got to get ready for, um, but it's just, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is kind of the meat of my week is all focused on selling. So I'm kind of back into sales mode, but I do have some uh, kind of administrative stuff I got to knock out this morning. Those of you who have been watching the vlog, get ready. We're saying goodbye to this bad boy. Swishing so long, farewell. We are upgrading from one black Chevy to an even bigger black Chevy. What up? So recently Tyler's become obsessed with <laughs> this uh beatboxers <laughs> beatboxing group. <laughs> but it's it's lit. It's lit. <laughs> Coming at you with a tip from the whip. Vroom, vroom. A gentle tip from the whip. 
treat every single meeting the exact same, no matter who the person is or who the people are that you happen to be meeting uh, with. Uh, I just drove three hours to a meeting that I had this afternoon. Uh, it's not the only meeting that I drove for because I'm here tomorrow and Thursday with multiple meetings. However, this is the only meeting for today and I did drive three hours straight to this meeting. And when I got there, uh, I was expecting there to be about 12 people uh, for me to meet with and there were four and uh, when I rolled up, the four people didn't exactly look like super happy to see me, uh, to say the least. And you know, these things happen and it's very easy to let that affect your presentation, affect your salesmanship, if you will, just affect your overall mood, like, right? Like, uh, you, you just don't want to give it 100% when you don't feel like the message is going to be well received and we just are a little bit disappointed in the number of people that you're seeing. Uh, however, in this situation, one of those people uh, purchased a policy that's uh, about six times the size of the average policy size that I sell, um, which made it extremely worth it, uh, obviously. Um, and somebody else bought a policy as well, and it made it completely worth it because I still gave it 100%. I still gave it a full effort and it's a respect issue, right? Like those four people deserve the same um, amount of effort from me than if there was a room full of a hundred people uh, that were sitting there with, you know, their debit cards in their hands and, and a big smile on their face, right? Like every single person you talk to deserves the same amount of respect uh, that you should show. That is your tip on this Tuesday in the whip. <laughs>
and continually just pushing the limits on what's possible. I mean, TJ and I were just laughing because we were like, uh, we did a couple of quick little photos before we started this kind of day recap because I was like, man, we need to get a couple of photos at the end of each day because that'll help with the thumbnails and the, on the videos for YouTube and uh, to post on Instagram. He's like, all right, let's just add one more thing. And I was like, and oh yeah, by the way, I've been posting like crazy on uh, Vero, this or Vero, whatever you call it, this new uh, social media app that's kind of gone nuts and it's number one on the app downloads on, on the um, app store. I was like, been posting there like crazy. So it's just like adding and compiling all these things. Um, but the mission is still the same. Like the mission is still the exact same thing. And that is to provide more and more and more and more value every single day. And uh, quite frankly, I'm having fun. Like I'm, I'm just as enthusiastic, just as excited. Like I can remember that that night uh, recording that episode for I can remember sitting back on the couch and being like holy crap like this is just way more than I ever expected uh, but man am I glad I'm doing it and you know fast forward to now and I'm so glad we started on this journey I'm so glad that you guys have come along with me uh, on this journey and man I have not been this driven motivated and just inspired um, in my entire life. And, and, and I've never been more sure, like I've never been more sure that something was just right. Um, and kind of all these pieces are coming together, creating the media company. We just brought on a new videographer. We just hired a new content creator that's gonna start in uh, less than two weeks. And just putting all the pieces of this puzzle together to be able to continue to scale more and more uh, content. And so I'm extremely um, blessed to hear 37 episodes later and say that it's still insanity, but this is just my new normal. You think it's a game? You think it's a game?